Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I don't think I've ever done one of these on my channel and if I did, it was so long ago, but I'm going to do a get ready with me video. I'm going to share what makeup I'm using and I have a lot of new stuff that I've recently gotten. So that's mainly what I'm going to be using today along with some stuff that like I already have and I use pretty much every day. I also got a new curling iron. This one, I don't know if you guys have seen this one, but I'm going to be trying that out today as well. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Amy and I'm a mom of two and I'm currently pregnant with our third baby who is due in October. And I typically do a lot of cleaning videos, daily vlogs, but I thought it would just be fun to do something a little bit different today. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. If you guys like these type of videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up so that I know and maybe I'll do them more often. And if you are not already, I would love it if you would subscribe. Okay, so first I'm going to show you guys the new products that I got. So most of these are Tarte. That's like, that's my favorite brand I have realized lately. So I bought a lot of Tarte stuff. So the first one I got is this Beach Cheeks Blush. And this shade is Ocean Girl. And it's actually a cream blush, which I've never used cream blush before. So, but that is what it looks like. It's a really pretty color. I think it'll look really good. Next, I got a Tarte Bronzer. This is, oh, just kidding. This is a highlighter. It's called Sparkler Highlight. And this is what this one looks like. It's more of like a tan highlighter, which I thought would be really good for like summertime. As you guys can tell, I'm definitely not like a makeup guru or anything. I just love doing my makeup, so I thought it would be fun to share. So the next thing I got is a Tarte eye palette. And this is the Man Eater one. And the colors are like really simple and really pretty. Like very like everyday colors in here. And then the next thing, I'm sure you guys know about this, but it's the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I love this. This one, this is my favorite concealer to use. So it is a repurchase for me. Okay, another repurchase is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. This is my favorite mascara. I've been using it for so long. So I needed some more of that. I got this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I've never used this setting spray before, but I do really like the Morphe brand, so I thought I would try that. And then another thing I'm really excited to try is the Morphe foundation. It is the soft focus foundation, medium to full coverage. So it is like a liquid foundation. This is the shade medium 12, and I'm a little worried it might be too light, but I'm gonna try it out anyways. And then I also got this big brush to go with the, to use for the liquid foundation, cause I didn't wanna mix my like powder foundation brush and my, liquid foundation brush and I don't like using sponges because I feel like they soak up so much of the product and then it's just like so much waste. I got the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. So that is that. I got this shade 4. I think it's like a dark brown and I don't think I've ever used this one before. I don't really know if you guys can even see that or not but yeah excited to try that as well. So we're gonna get started and as I go along I will show you guys like what I'm so I am sitting right in front of my mirror I always sit here and do my makeup it's just like the easiest so I will be looking at the mirror sometimes and you guys but I always prime my face first so I'm using the Smashbox original photo finish primer and this is like a small one I got a small like trial pack I guess like for Christmas and it had like a few different ones, but this one is definitely my favorite. You know that I'm a keep it cold. With you, I feel like breaking rules. Only edge looking at. And now I'm just going in with my concealer. This one is a little bit darker than the other one I had, but I think it will be just fine. So I always do like underneath my eyes and then my right here in between my eyebrows, my chin, and then my nose. No, with no parachute. You know I'm dreaming about us too. Playing around with that. And then I just use this like flat little brush to blend it in. Okay, and then I'm gonna start on my eyeshadow. So I'm just going to use um, probably like this lightest shade right here and just cover my lid with that. And I'm just using this e.l.f. like blending brush for that. And then for like the color on my lid, I always 
always use my bronzer. So the one I have right now is um, Kylie Cosmetics. It looks like that. This is, like I said, Kylie. And it's the shade Tanned and Gorgeous. I really like this one. And I'm just using this little angled brush. This is the Eco Tools one. And I just put it like all in just like the crease. Okay, so that's all I do for my eyes. Like a really easy everyday look. And then next I am going to go into my foundation. So like I said, I'm using the Morphe one today. The one that I've been using that I actually really, really love, it's this Tarte Powder Foundation. And it's the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation in the shade Medium Tan. But last time I was in Ulta, I didn't find this one and I couldn't find it online either. So I don't know if they like discontinued it and stopped making it, but I really do love that one. <laughs> like this foundation I feel like it might be a little bit light but once I add my bronzer I think it will like even out and be okay okay so now I'm gonna just take my bronzer and the contour a little bit and I'm using this giant <laughs> brush I don't think this is technically for bronzer but it's what I have for my bronzer that I use to convince my friends this time think you're toxic to my mind but I know they don't and then I'm going to take this like really big brush and like blend it out so that it doesn't look so like that. The way you hold my body tight, stay in the talking through the night. Yeah, I know they just don't. With us, it's all or nothing. And now I'm going to go in with my highlighter and I'm using the new one again, the Tarte sparkler highlighter and for that one I have this little <laughs> this little mermaid brush I've had with this for so long but this is the one I've always used for my highlighters and then I'm going to take this small angled eye brush and put it a little bit just like in the corner of my eye Next, I'm going to use my blush, and I just have another big brush that I always use for my blushes. And then I'm also going to take my blush like over the bridge of my nose a little bit, just to like make it all blend together really well. And then I'm going to take my big brush again and like blend my face together again. Okay, so now I'm going to do my eyebrows. Like I said, I'd never used this one before. So let's see. Oh, they have like a little thing on this side and then the color on this one. So I'm going to just brush them out first. So that's my eyebrows. I do like it. It filled them in like really well. And now I'm going to do my eyelashes. Again, I'm just using the Tarte Man Eater. It is my favorite. And then I'm just going to spray down my face with my new setting spray. Okay, I do like this. This seems to work really well. It's really really light on my face like it doesn't feel like my face is getting wet like some setting sprays do so I think I'm gonna like that a lot so the last thing I'm gonna do is my lips and I'm gonna be using the morphe makeup talk lip liner and it looks like that color kind of like a nudie pink color I lost the lid for this so I have to keep it like with my brushes <laughs> On top of that, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. Also, another one of my favorites. We talk about this, why don't you? So yeah, that is my makeup. And now we're going to move on to hair. Really excited to try this new curling iron. 
Um, it might be a mess because I don't know really how to use it, but we're going to try it out. Okay, so let's see. Power, what does it say? Well, that heated up really fast. <laughs> All right, let's give this a try. That was like the easiest curl of my life. Oh my god. Stay, stay. Why don't we talk about this? With us, it's all or nothing. Ooh, but guess I need more of you. Uh, with us, it's all or nothing. But guess I need more of you. So you do like but in the morning. So before I take the top part down and start curling that, I'm gonna spray some hairspray on it. This is just the OGX Soothing, Smoothing, and Shea Sleek hairspray. Nothing special. This is the finished look with a curler. I love it i think it looks really good i really like it and it was so so easy it probably took me about 20 minutes to curl my whole hair and if i'm using like a regular curling iron it will take me at least like an hour and then my arms are always like sore from like holding it and holding my hair and i hate it so that's why i never curl my hair but with this i feel like i'm going to be curling my hair all the time now i really really love it 100 percent worth the money in my opinion if you don't have one, you need one. That is how I feel about this curling iron. But that's it for my get ready with me. I will link all of the products that I used today down below in the description box, as well as my like to know it, which is, which will also be in the description box down below. So you can go follow me over there. And I always post the links to what I have, like what I'm wearing, what I'm using, all that stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys liked today's video, even though it was a little bit different. If you did, make sure you leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.